Hey guys, what's up? It's George here from theiphonepress.com and today's video is going to be showing you how to jailbreak all devices on Windows. Now as you can see I'm running Windows Vista. Um, I am actually recording this from my MacBook. I'm just running a uh, remote connection from my Windo uh, Windows desktop at home. So um, I'm going to be doing this on an iPod and the program we're going to be using is called Black Rain. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is navigate over to blackrain.com, a link will be in the description on the right, and um, yeah, it should look something like this. Now this is Geo Hot here, um, he also makes these like, sort of images, um, you may have heard Purple Rain was his last one which was a 3GS jailbreak, um, but Black Rain is better and easier because um, it's going to be for all devices. Now, um, the only downside is that it's not for Mac. Um, he hasn't even mentioned if there will be one for Mac, but um, for the time being, there's one for just Windows. And um, so, what you're going to need to do is obviously hit that, and um, then it's going to start downloading. I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it, but once it's downloaded, you're going to need to place it on your desktop, and uh, it should have an icon that looks similar to that and um, yeah I'll get we'll go into that application in a second okay so if I just go over to iTunes a second and um, as you can see I've just placed my iPod touch into um, DFU mode now the reason for that is because you're going to need to update to the latest firmware 3.1.2 now before you do that, you're going to uh, I'm going to need to tell you some warnings, okay? For iPod 1G and 2G, this is fine, okay? You're going to just need to hit restore and iTunes will do everything for you. Your iPod will be uh, officially back to um, factory settings and nothing can go wrong because it doesn't have a baseband, okay? Um, you can also do that for iPod Touch 3G. Sorry, I didn't um, include that. Uh, as I said, this Black Rain software works with everything. Um, so yeah, the only downside that is um, with the iPod Touch 3G is that it is tethered. Um, tethered means that you can't uh, turn your device off or iPod Touch 3G off without um, plugging it back up to a computer. So it will work exactly the same as a jailbroken device, apart from when it runs out of power or you accidentally turn it off then you won't be able to get it back on until you get back home and plug it into com your computer and run black rain okay so um, I'll put a information on the description on what tethered is if you didn't catch that that's just for iPod Touch 3G by the way okay now um, for iPhone users now this is where it gets confusing if you rely on and unlock which means that if you have installed ultra snow from Cydia and um, use that to get your cellular data service like um, Orange or T-Mobile um, a non-official carrier if you rely on that then you are not going to update to 3.1.2 the reason for that is because the 3.1.2 software upgrades your baseband which means that Ultra Snow won't be compatible and you won't ever be able to get the unlock back again. Okay, so I think with all that done and said, you can restore to 3.1.2. Um, I will gonna have to pause this video because it's going to download it. And um, once it has completed downloading and my iPod is on factory settings to 3.1.2 then I'm going to come back to you okay so once uh, iTunes has finished restoring your iPod to or your device sorry, to 3.1.2 bearing in mind iPhone uses all the warnings that I explained at the beginning of the video and um, yeah once it's on 3.1.2 then you're just going to need to minimize iTunes and load black rain so this is the interface what it looks like very simple and uh, also similar to um, Purple Rain if you ever saw that. So just a simple one click. It says entering recovery. Your iPod um, basically does that. Goes into recovery mode with the um, Connect to iTunes logo. Then um, an image of GeoHot comes on to your screen. Remember the one that looks exactly the same as uh, that. And um, if I just quickly hop over back over here it says 
your jailbreak is done once the phone reboots so I guess that's all we have to do just one click easiest jailbreak, oh here we go, the um, spinning wheel is now appeared at the bottom of the image that is displayed on your device once you click that button, make it rain and um, I guess it's going to reboot and um, then it should be jailbroken, um, I'll just hang on for a second so um, yeah that was pretty much the easiest jailbreak you'll ever have to do it's just one click and then uh, everything has done my iPod is just now turned off and it is now rebooting with the Apple logo so yeah wow that was an incredibly easy jailbreak um, everybody should be able to do this guys okay unless you're on an iPhone that you rely on an um, unlock or ultra snow once it reboots it should have a black rain icon on the second page and um, once you load up that it should look something like this this is how it should look and um, <clears throat> basically what you're going to need to do is uh, check Cydia and IC okay well you don't have to do that but um, obviously you need to check one of them I would recommend doing Cydia first um, then uh, Rock, you can read the description on what they are, but Cydia and IC are probably the main two that you would I would recommend that you installed. Uh, definitely Cydia. Obviously, you have to definitely install one of them. Um, once you've done that, then you can have the option to um, uninstall Black Rain by hitting the minus and then hitting delete, and then it'll respring. So, um, yeah, then when you check them, it should have a little green tick, and then you can install and uh, yes, yeah, self-explanatory really um, so I think that is pretty much it um, yeah so thanks for watching please rate, comment, subscribe, I hope this video helped you to jailbreak your device okay thanks bye